practice. Like I like making a connection from distance because that's something you're gonna have to work on is closing distance uh, from these positions. So from here, I'm gonna come in one, two. I'm gonna go to an inside reach and all I'm gonna look to do here is I'm gonna pull on the knee. When I pull on the knee, all Byron's gonna do is he's gonna pull back. This helps me come up to the feet. So this action of me pulling up forward, like it doesn't do anything, right? I could start working in a different direction, but the second we get that pull, I'm just coming up here, head in, coming all the way up, pinching my knees in. Now from here, what I'm gonna look to do is I'm gonna take my left foot and I'm gonna place this to the outside. Vikram's, uh, sorry, Byron's gonna uh, step out, boom, and then I punch this, getting it uh, elevated high, making sure I'm coming in just like I'm doing an Achilles walk. I don't want it low, I want it high up. Uh, in America, they say like you're pledging allegiance to the flag, they make you place your hand on the heart. So obviously, I don't think they make you guys do that here. This is also one of the drills we're gonna do today, make our partner hop around. So I'm trying to condition Byron for it right now. Now in Jiu Jitsu, like in wrestling, it's great to take the guy to the mat, you know, get your points. In Jiu Jitsu, it's generally a better idea to work towards the back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my thumb right on the knee. I'm gonna step my right leg back and I'm gonna turn wrist down. Generally, they're gonna work kind of to a turtle position. Boom, I'm gonna cover one, two. And then I go into the seat belt, looking to do our same sequences from the day. One, two, three, four, five, consolidating the position. And I want you guys to end with your RMC of choice, coming in, taking a grip and getting the finish. So finishing from feet to floor on your transitions. All right, guys, let's give it a go. One, two, three, circular movement. I'm coming through, the second he waits this, I know, you know, it's a heavy leg. So I'm pulling myself in, I'm going for this inside reach. At any time, if Byron steps up this leg, like it's easy thing to start driving him over and go into different double leg variations. You know, you can even use the inside reach to work that through. Here they pull back to a double leg. But for right now, let's just keep it to the single leg just because we don't have much time. So, we're here, same old story, he pulls back. I'm working here, and now from here, same thing, I'm pinching my knees in, I'm keeping good head posture, kind of to the side here. I'm gonna start driving him forward, and I get it like so. So from here, that's our first option. The second option is gonna be, they have a wizard. Uh, this guy's gonna come through here. And they're kind of giving me a hard time. They're pressing on my head, it's hard for me when I go here, he steps out, and he's just keeping good pressure. Doesn't feel like I can quite take it out. When this happens, all I'm gonna look to do is I step one, I drop my head right to the hip line, like so, and then I'm going to move my left leg back, place him on the mat. Immediately, stay there. Immediately, your partner's gonna have a cross shoulder frame. We're gonna do that movement we did in the beginning. I'm gonna kick one, two, and we're gonna to work towards a gift wrap or alternatively, them building up to turbo. So, going back to that first movement on the knee slice of step, coming across. So, just go from the single leg, one, two, we're in, we step our left leg through, he has good defense, it doesn't feel like I can just do this, because he has a wizard in play, here, and he's kind of pushing on the head, he's giving me a hard time. When this happens, one, I go to the hip, I run the pipe back, I move him here, he keeps that arm, I shoot through, and I can look to cover, or they can work up to turtle, just up to the base, and we come in like so. So, two different options, work towards gift wrap or turtle, hitting that nice knee slice off of running the pipe. Any questions? Like when you uh, put your head on his thigh, then it's every time the, the moment when you do the running the pipe movement. Yeah, when I place uh, my head, when I drop elevations to the hip, mm -hmm. it's run the pipe, 
or bust or double off. You can double off, but it's a hard posture to work from. So definitely I'd, I'd work quickly. There's other transitions, but when you drop your head low, you're making the play here towards moving that back. Good question. All right, one, two, three.